hey everybody, how we doing? Hope everybody's feeling good. Feeling good, smelling good. Everybody washed out there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I feel squeaky clean today. What about you, Rick? You feel squeaky clean today? I feel clean today, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy question to ask somebody, right? <laughs> Do you feel clean today? All right. All right, what we got, man? Today we have Chakra Khan doing a cover of a song called Anyone from Demi Lovato. Is that the, I remember we did him last time, and every time you said Chakra Khan, it reminded me of Shaka Khan. Yes. Um, is that the right, did we get the right pronunci yes. pronunciation of that? At first we were saying Kakra. Kakra. We were saying Kakra ah. Khan, and, and in the comments he corrected us, and he said it's uh, Shaka. I, I love it when you guys chime in. We learn just as much from you guys as hopefully you're getting some opinions and learning some stuff from us. All right, I remember this gentleman with the, with the raspy voice, right? Yes. Um, yep, the last we heard of him, he was on America's Got Talent, but he actually didn't get to make it to the live shows, so oh. there was no more performances from him. Oh, that show. was he televised? He wasn't televised? No, he wasn't televised. What? Well, sorry, he was televised for the initial um, performance, but after that, he was cut from the shows. Cool, check it out. Trying to see what kind of mic that is. I try to talk to my piano. I try to talk to my guitar. Talk to my imagination. Confide it into alcohol. I try to try to try to some more talk. Secret still, my voice was sore. Tired of empty conversation Cause no one hears me anymore A hundred million stories and a hundred million songs I feel stupid when I sing Nobody's listening to me Nobody's listening I talk to shooting stars but they always get it wrong I feel stupid when I pray why am I praying anyway If nobody's listening Anyone Please send me anyone Lord is there anyone I need someone Anyone Please send me anyone Lord is there And a hundred million songs I feel stupid when I sing Nobody's listening to me And nobody's listening I talk to shooting stars But they always get it wrong I feel stupid when I pray Why the hell am I praying anyway If nobody's listening Anyone Please send me anyone Lord, is there anyone? I need someone oh. Anyone Please send me anyone Oh Lord, is there anyone? I need someone When I sing, nobody's listening to me. 
Nobody's listening. Oh, I got line. That's a nice melody. Really nice melody. Really nice melody. Um, I love the background there. I wonder if that's his. Is that a studio or a room? He, his room he's in. I like the, the little sun thing happening. I guess those will be clouds. Look like somebody took yes. a bunch of cotton, you know, and just pasted it all around the room. Hope that's how the fire has it. Um, but I love the look. Um, I love the look. Wow, um, you know what? Here's what we like about him, right? Let's talk about what we like. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna ask you guys, think in your own minds, what is it that you like about his voice? Fred is thinking, right? I think we like the rasp. I call it a rasp. I can't, I can't do it. A rasp for me sounds like a, it's a, it's a hoarse sound, like, like, like your voice is sore. Like you're sick, you know, but you're singing through that. And and what I've always enjoyed about a rasp sound, that rasp sound, it gives desperation. It, it kind of gives, it shows the pain of a song. Anyone, anyone, ah. It's like, yo, feel that pain, right? As opposed to anyone. It's like, sound clear and like, you all right. Same note, but it's got that, mm, the desperation, that, that kind of pain happening. That's what I enjoy about a person that has that rasp sound, right? What do you enjoy about it? Or what do you enjoy about his voice? Well, here's a downside. Right, it's gotta be a downside. It's a downside to everything, right? Do you wanna hear that for the whole song? Better question. Could you hear that five songs in a row? If it's a happy song, get that desperation on that happy song. It might not work, right? So what you wanna be able to do as a vocal is the same thing you do as a person who's a good conversationalist. You have ebbs and flows in your conversation, right? Same concept, right? Is there anyone out there that can really help me? Nice, clear voice, hear that clear voice? Because I'm in pain and it's struggling out here. Same thing as a singer. I want to be able to sing, give you that clarity, clarity, then desperation. Right? So to me, you know, based on what you, how we started the conversation off is, here's a great singer, a great singer. He's got a great gift. That rasp is a gift. You know, if he sings like that all the time, that's a gift, like that's a placement. It's almost like having two notes. Because if you hear it as an undertone of another note, that's another conversation. But I don't know if we want to hear that the whole time. I'm curious to know what your comments would be on that. But I know that's how I, I take it. You know, as I look at some of the, some of the great ones who have done it, like the, Oh, Chris Stapleton. There's one. He does both though. Right? He's got all these extra dynamics. He can throw in another gear to take you somewhere else. You, Michael Bolton. Right? He's got that rasp in his voice. B.B. Winans. He's got that rasp. He can throw in another gear. And, and I guess my favorite that comes to mind would be I see his face. Oh my gosh, it's bothering me. I can't get his name right now. His daughter sings with the same rasp. Donny Hathaway. The late, great Donny Hathaway. Right? It's got that serious kind of rasp in his voice, but can also turn it to another gear and give you a clearer sound, give you power, give you all this other stuff. So. I guess my, my advice, if there's any advice to be given, would be, um, Shakur, I'd like to see you, I would like to hear you throw that in other gears. I would like for you to give me that darkness that you gave me, like I'm in a cave hearing you sing like you lost somewhere. But when we find you, 
We want that sound too. We want that clarity, that power, that, uh, it's just clarity, you know, that makes me feel that you're happy about what you're singing at that point in time. Um, other than that, man, great talent, great gift. I hope, I'm sure there's a lot more to come. You know, how old is he? About? He's 28. 28? 28, 29, yeah. 28, I love to put Ricky on spot like that because he's like, oh my God, I don't know how old he is. Uh, 28, 29, cause I love it when you, when you're spot on, they don't realize how much you know, man. Like, but when you're wrong, they let you know it. They're like, ah, right. Ricky gave you the wrong information. <laughs> uh, 28, 29, you're still young. Your voice is still even developing, you know? So, and most importantly, you, you're, you're young enough to learn some new things. Um, so yes, much success. Thank you for that great performance. Uh, appreciate you, sir. Uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Um, those those shows or something else like they hit and miss with those shows to me. You know, like, I think they bring real artists on for numbers because you probably got numbers and views. You know, I don't know who's winning, who's who's who beat you, but you definitely should have gone further than what you just told me he went. Um, yeah. yeah, the winner was a dog trainer. Oh. <laughs> what did he get the dog to do? Was the dog singing, anyone that I, now then they should win. If the dog is singing, anyone, then I, then I can see why you lost. But I don't know, man, we got, we get things backwards, right? We, we, we like the shock factor. You know, I guess whatever the dog doing was like, oh my God, did he just jump over that stick on command? You know, and then they win. All right. Listen, we out. This is great. This is fantastic. Thanks, Rick. Um, that melody is strong, though, right? Mm -hmm. I still hear it in my head. Uh, it's a good song, and you did a good job delivering the song. So that's why you know you do something right. You know, the song is over, and I'm still hearing the melody and, and the feel that you gave from that song. So thank you very much, um, Chakra. I appreciate you. Um, all right. In parting, we say the same thing all the time. We still try to, and that's make sure that you L O V E U love yourself and then all the little bit of eensy weensy bit you got left or if you got a whole lot left make sure you share it with somebody else we need a lot more love in this world all right see you guys next time don't forget share and like and subscribe and and comment ciao